times people confuse between ADHD that is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and autism. Both are neurodevelopmental disorders meaning there is abnormal development of nervous system which is often noticed in the developmental years in childhood. According to Center of Disease Control, 14% of children having a diagnosis of ADHD also have a diagnosis of autism. And more than half the children having autism may have ADHD. Hence, they may coexist together, but clinically they are absolutely two different disorders which are generally seen to develop during the childhood. Now let's understand the difference between the two, ADHD versus autism. The typical symptoms of ADHD include inattention, meaning poor concentration, hyperactivity, children are constantly fidgety, they're constantly on the go and very restless, and they're also marked with impulsivity making blunt and spontaneous remarks or acting without thinking. On the other hand, the typical symptoms of autism include difficulty in social interaction and communication, speech deficits where there is frequent utterances of meaningless sound or there is complete absence of spoken language or delayed speech milestones. Children with autism often show stereotypical repetitive behavior like spinning, rocking, flapping of hands. They may also show significant sensory challenges like underreaction or overreaction to light, sound, taste, smell. The second important differentiating factor between ADHD and autism is in ADHD Children generally tend to lose interest quickly and they generally don't stick to a task for a long time. On the other hand, in autism, children generally have obsessive interest in things that they like to do and continue to play with the same toys or do the same things over and over again. And it is difficult for them to move on to new objects. The third differentiating factor is in ADHD, children are generally less likely to have speech problems or speech deficits. They generally can speak fluently and cannot wait for their turn to speak. They generally interrupt others in their conversations. On the other hand, children with autism may show significant deficits in speech and communication patterns. They generally avoid eye contact and physical touch. There may be repetitive, meaningless sounds, blabbering, or delay in speech milestones. They may not respond to name calling or may not have eye contact while responding to some remarks. The fourth differentiating factor is that in ADHD, children generally get bored and they don't like routine and a structure. Whereas in autism, there is a general demonstration of liking for routine and sameness. The fifth differentiating factor is that children having ADHD generally have a sense and understanding about danger and safety. Whereas in case of children having autism, the understanding about danger and safety is little less and difficult to make them have such understanding. The sixth differentiating factor is that children having ADHD may be prone to tantrums and meltdowns due to lack of impulsivity and inability to concentrate. Whereas, on the other hand, children having autism may show tantrums and meltdowns due to lack of ability to co communicate their feelings properly and due to the sensory challenges that they face. Although these differentiating factors that I stated are for general awareness, I would advise you to not diagnose your child in case you're suspecting some symptoms of ADHD or autism. It's always a wise idea to consult your child with a pediatrician or with a child psychologist or psychiatrist 
so that the necessary assessment can be done and the necessary advice and insight may be provided to you. Take care. Don't forget to like and share this video. For more such videos, do subscribe to the M Fine channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update.